All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, cheeky bastards out there, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all. It's another week, and it's another delightful episode of Camera and Flask with my two besties, Ben Barden and Caleb Pike. And gentlemen, how are you doing today? Good. Uh, ben, are you muted? He is. He's coming in. <laughs> the panic, the panic. We, we uh, by the way, we planned all of this because the technical, oh, holy, oh, la. We planned you enjoy this. enjoy that? that Whoa. Big, big. Uh, yeah. <sighs> oh, hey. We, we kind of planned this because we've had so few technical issues in the last couple of weeks. We didn't want to, like, you know, get you guys too comfortable with uh, that kind of stuff. So here we are with some technical problems. And speaking of technical problems, uh, we think that there may be some issues with audio here, and we wanted to ask people in the chat if it sounds a little snowy on the other end there, or if this is just Skype and what we're hearing on our side. Anybody? Hi all. 360 grad, the grumpy penguin, Colin, Oliver, who else do we have here? We've got Neil, Bill, Larry, Travis. Uh, we got some of the crew here, so it's good. And a barking dog upstairs. Uh, G Wiz and mm. KBH Media. So sounds great to me. Uh, <laughs> SpaceX technical problems. Yeah, I actually mm. had like the equivalent of a kernel panic or something when I came down to my computer right before we started. Caleb forgot his camera. It's one of those days, right? Um, mm -hmm. So there you go. Well, now that Ben's sound is on, and <laughs> Neil's saying he hears a little hiss, but mostly fine. We like that, mostly okay. fine. So let's get into some drinks, starting off with Caleb Pike from the fine state of Illinois. And what are you having to drink this evening? I would say you're in an evening um, hour now. Having one of my, my favorites, I was going to bring down some ice because the AC has been broken for a week as of tomorrow. Oh, and boy. it's been Memorial Day here in the States yeah. for weekend, so it's been difficult to get people out to work on it. So I'm not going to move this closer because uh, new camera I set up like 15 minutes ago, but Templeton Rye, one of my favorites. So just pop that open. Beautiful. Ready to pour. And, and oh, so what? good. <laughs> What do we have for uh, for for Ben? What's it going to be from the Czech Republic? I'm I'm afraid, freed. I'm afraid. I'm afraid it's quite dull for me this week because I'm taking some uh, like muscle pain relief stuff, which I can't drink with. So I'm on ginger and lime tea. Mm. Could have been anything in that cup. I though, feel right? should have just made something up, shouldn't I? I'm I'm drinking yeah, Red Bulls. There we go. Okay. That's what I'm on. Do me a favor and what are you uh, drinking, Jim? Well, do me a favor and check on your internet connection because it's a little max headroom. Uh, Caleb, we've got a comment here that you sound a small echoey, which I'm not hearing on my end, which is kind of interesting. Me either. Yeah. Check one two. Check one two three. Echo echo echo. No echo. Not Who getting knows? echo on my end. So this might be a routing issue, but. Uh, Shiz says he bets that's absinthe in that cup, which maybe it is. But mm. you are definitely freezing a little bit. Okay, uh, for me, I'm going to tip my hat to my grandfather, who I never met, and I'm having some Irish whiskey. This is Slane. It's triple casked. Uh, it says that it's put into a virgin and then a seasoned and then a sherry barrel. So I don't know what – I guess I get <laughs> what kind of virgin – and what kind of season <laughs> cask, I don't know. But there you go. Sounds like a millennial <laughs> came up with that. I think so. I bought it when I, <laughs> I, millennial I bought it, hipster. I bought it when I was down in California at uh, at Trader Joe's. It wasn't too expensive. I tried it the other night. And uh, hey, it's very drinkable. So gentlemen, to thirty seven ninety nine, not being the price of the R five, but wow, I had to find that AF. Mm. I'm gonna have to there we go. So all the best. Mm -hmm. Um, cheers. cheers cheers okay my connection's running the fastest it's been for two weeks so 
I have no idea what is causing the max headroom stuff. Well, you look clear right now, so I think sound okay. stuff. Who knows? Yeah, don't it, start well, like this. Yeah, what, whatever. Small brown fox is being cheeky already. I don't know why, but it says Jim, don't start like this. Dot dot dot. I don't know what that means. <sighs> Before uh, we dive into this yes, whole situation, yeah. oh my gosh, there goes the dog. Uh, and uh, why this kit challenge is priced the way it is. Should we <laughs> yes. get into that, but also uh, the recent news. And uh, David, are you in the house? Because this is all his fault. Mm. All right. Take it, take it, the Caleb. Need. Ride with oh, you. Oh, you want me to take it? Oh, yeah. I didn't mean to take over. Oh, Jim. Uh, by the way, who's hosting? Is I'm ho I'm gonna week? I'm gonna host, but uh, oh, I, switched. I'm really hosting. I'm really hosting the lists, uh, just because I have them here, so it's easier for me to host this right one. On. But I want you to keep going with what you're talking about, Caleb. Let's go down the, the oh, okay. David. You know, gravy. Yeah, let's do it. What you got? All right. So the reason we're, this kit challenge is three thousand seven hundred and ninety nine dollars is because a gentleman by the name of David last week was swearing that's the price of the Canon R5. Um, and he he really stuck to that, and we were all making bets and whatnot. I thought, and still think, you know, maybe less with this recent news, that it was going to be five, six, sixty five hundred, seven grand for that camera. And uh, there's been a bunch of rumors, more and more, that it's going to be 4000 or less. Uh, so do you think that's all where, BS, where are, Ben? Yes. Yes. Okay. Where are these rumors from? <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I saw I saw um, like Frono's photo did a thing on it the other week, and he was he was going. There's no way it's going to be this much money. It's crazy. It's going to be six thousand. Look at the price of the. It's that's the same price as the one D, uh, the new one D. And going, yeah, but it's it's the spec is like that and higher in very many ways. So I think it's totally. Yeah. I still think it's totally on a par with that camera in terms of pricing. Oh, hundred percent. But. But where are these rumors? What's the source for the rumors that are saying that it's going to be sub four? Because I've seen a couple this week too. But Somebody only who works kind of for Canon. Reading. Somebody who works for Canon. Yeah, it's always and, someone who works for and, Canon, isn't and it? And by the way, a big shout out to Shiz. We got a three <laughs> euro and seventy nine. <laughs> <laughs> three year, <laughs> three seventy nine euro for us uh there is there is a decimal point in there but it's a lovely contribution to the super <laughs> chat and uh he's with us he's uh he's in our camp so a uh, beautiful thing good to have you sky nice. uh glad you're back this week and <laughs> bart says the rumors are from a show called cameron flask <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I honestly did wonder for a second when I saw that this week whether that was from us. <laughs> whether this three three seven right. nine nine thing's just gonna do the rounds completely. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh where is David? And that I don't mean David Carroll. Where is David um who it wasn't David Carroll. We have to now I have to go back and, you know, replay. But I, we need to know where 379.9 is because it's got to happen. All right. This is beautiful. Anything else that we want to say about that? Anybody? Oof. Okay. Well, we've, nope. got, we've got four lists here, uh, three from us. And then we had uh, Daniel Murphy got a list to us very quickly after last week's show. And, Insanely uh, quick. Like, <laughs> like I basically – like I – I, we, we were done with the show. It was published at 10 1, and then I got an email, and here's his list. It's ridiculous. I, I, it took me three hours to put my list together, and, you know, I don't know what kind of craziness that's. You must have been putting the list together during the, uh, during the show. I don't know what you were doing. Good. Oh, mm. Joseph Frank, I believe, was the 3799 dude. Ah, ah Joseph. Okay. All right. Okay, <laughs> David Carroll's hankering for some fried chicken. I see where that's coming from. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> so everyone better have an F7 light in there. No, there's no, no F7. Not so that so so let's so now let's the challenge, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's do the challenge. You okay, set, you set it up. Set it up. Here's the challenge. Okay, so uh, the supposed price of the R5. $3,799 US, but what we needed to do was put together an entire kit, shootable kit, 
to shoot interviews, and that is the full kit and caboodle, except for, we're going to say bags. So cases, but it's got to be yeah. everything else. So we're talking about camera, we're talking about cards, we're talking about power, we're talking about grip, we're talking about lighting, we're talking about um, all of the things that you would need to show up besides your cases. And just to add insult to injury, it really can't be stuff that we own or we use all of the time. So we're being yeah. pulled out of our comfort zone and choosing things that are not the tools, not the uh, tools of our trade and the way we normally work, which was actually quite fun. I enjoyed it. It was just a bitch to get there, except for at one point, I <laughs> for some reason thought that it was twenty seven ninety nine. And I was trying to keep uh. the twenty seven ninety nine, and then I realized I had another thousand dollars, and then the whole world like opened Christmas. up to me. Yeah, like Christmas. <laughs> but then, of course, I went over, and I had to come back down again anyway. How about you guys? Same. How was it for you? What happened? It was rough. Because I... <laughs> because I feel of the three of us, I'm the most liberal, if you will, when it comes to camera brands. Yeah, yeah. And yes. like in trying different stuff. Yeah. There's certain things I just I don't I avoid a little bit, but for the most part, I've like. All over the board, especially lenses. That was really hard because I've like done so many different lens things. Yeah. So it was really tricky. And when it comes to audio and rigging up audio, I mean, I almost couldn't do anything. Yeah. Because I feel like we've done underslung, overslung, boom, light stand, boom, microphone stand, like it all. So that was tough. Um, yeah. Yeah. Can you Excited. look at this? Mm, look at this budget. beautiful super chat from Rob in Canada saying that his contribution at $5.21 Canadian is supposed to come in at probably from XE, I would say, at $3.79 US. This is a beautiful <laughs> thing. Well, thank you very much, Rob. We love having you on the show, and we will chat soon about when we can get you. We'll have that conversation very soon, that follow-up. Uh, beautiful. So here we are. We've got four lists, and what are some other comments, gentlemen? I'm I'm losing track on stuff, and then I'm going to start to bring up the first list. Um, anything? Any good comments here that you need to bring up, uh, um, Ben or Caleb? Let's see. Let's talk about fast food, mainly. And fast apertures. <laughs> This yeah. could get ugly. All right, we'll leave that alone. And for you, Ben, everything was okay? It was difficult? It was easy? How no, I think it... I think it's. I think because I delved into the used section of B and H as per usual with these things, and then I I thought I hit. Well, I did kind of hit like a really good, a huge amount for your money product within two minutes of being on there, and I was like, I'm, this is great. I've got so much left over, and then exactly as you were saying, I was just over all the time. Then you go, well, I I, I need all of this now. I have to take like four things to be able to make this work. Because in my head, I'm putting the thing together and I'm setting the interview up in my head and going, well, this is there and then this needs to go there and then I, shit, I haven't got anything. But it, it's difficult. It's much harder than it would first appear. This is always going to be a tough one, though. This is a ridiculously low budget. Okay, yeah. well, let's, let's, start with, let's start with Ben then because it's late there and we need his energy level to be high when, we take, uh, when he takes us through his list. Yeah. So we're going to okay. need his energy level to be high when we do yours, so he and I can, you know, have a good gaff. <laughs> let's see yeah. how many. Let's see how Thanks many holes. Show. While everybody, by the way, is uh, talking about fast food, I don't know what the heck's going on with fast food this week. We are. It's my fault, but that's a long story. Okay. Yes, I think so. From oh chat. boy. Oh boy. Uh, we are going to go full screen with uh, Ben's multi-page PDF. We will see the overall price in the beginning, and then we're mm. going to see basically three pages of products, and Ben is going to take us through that and also his thoughts behind it. We've got 45, 46 minutes to get through four of these lists, so let's keep the chat lively. Let us know what you're drinking, and away we go. And there okay. is – wait, hold on. Hold on. Let me just check the price first. Okay, because no, I, okay, it, it isn't that. That isn't that. I, what happens as we should just flag this up at the beginning. Okay. When you do a list within B and H's wish lists, mm. what it doesn't do is add 
the different quantities. So if you've got multiples of any item, it doesn't add that to the total. So what you have to do then is put it in the basket. This entire basket is actually uh, it's like $15 under the limit. It's, it shows as being lower within uh, the, the wish list that's on the PDF. Okay, but you're still under 3799. Yeah, just. Like 1015. I shall, when we come to yours, I'll then, uh, I'll dive out into B&H and get the actual total for you. But go go ahead. Go. So, and and so, especially because but, the quantity is one of every single item I have. So go for it. Should I be able to see uh, this now? On, I can only see you two. Uh, uh, well, are you, are are you in Skype or are you on YouTube? It's got to be up on YouTube. You got to go to the YouTube uh, page. Okay, well, that, that's going to have Unless like the Jim, big... No, that wouldn't work. Do you well, need, do Jim you need might the be able to share a screen with us. No, no, I've, I'll, I've got the link somewhere. Let me, let me pull the PDF up. Hold on. Okay. Uh, bear with me one second because I can't see anything still. And then I'm going to go to Skype and I'm going to send you the link to the page as well just so you have it when we go through the other lists, okay? It's going into the chat right now and you should have it in Skype, okay? So that's your Okay, name. cool. All right, cool, cool. All right, sorry, I'm still trying to pull this up. Uh, this is going Please. swimmingly. Take your time. And Gem, is there any way to blow that up a little bit? Kind of tiny on the. On I don't. YouTube. I don't know how to make it larger. I'm still. Oh, okay. uh, you know, Ecamm's a little. Uh, you're gonna have to make your screens a little bit bigger. And when I go to zoom and pan. It doesn't seem to allow me to select the PDF. That's the thing that I'm not getting here. So this could be gotcha. a little bit of a... Oh, let me try one thing. I, I did something earlier on today, which was kind of weird, where I used... No, nah, it doesn't doesn't seem to be letting me. So, yeah. Okay. Is it, is it really small? Uh, it's bearable, but it's... it's right on the edge. Nicer if it was like three products at a time or something. Yeah. Okay. I'm all uh, set anyway. Okay, I, okay. I can do it just from this now. All okay. right. So, page one, um, starting with grippy stuff. So, I've gone for the Benro three way pan head. We're shooting interviews, we're doing lock offs. There is no movement that you want to do for video with this head. This is a stills head. Mm. Uh, but this is the constraints of the budget. Uh, moving down the Manfrotto 190. XDB tripod legs. I have a set of those. They are fine and unremarkable in every way. Uh, same as the top one. It stills. Um, we're on lock-offs. We don't need anything else for this interview setup that we're doing. Well, that's that's been my decision anyway. That's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. We're on lock-offs. There's no movement. This is a dull interview. It's okay. corporate. Light stands. Two of these. Uh, impact light stands. Six foot ones. Uh, Bought these because they were nineteen ninety nine. I could find nothing cheaper. That's it. Boom pole. Um, I'm figuring for this that I may end up actually having the interviewer holding, like booming, at the same time as conducting the interview. What? That yeah, I maybe we'll see. We'll see how it Somebody all. Somebody spent a lot together. on his camera and lenses. Wait, wait, what do you mean? Now you you ha wait, this is like a there's a Sherpa. So who's... I'm like, so tell me, tell me more about you know how that made you feel as you're holding a boom. <laughs> it's <laughs> like, wait, clipboard. wait, hold on, hold on. Are you are you basically saying it's like you you're it's like you're fishing and and you're conducting the interview with the person? Is that? Have I'm you just, never done this? <laughs> I'm just asking. Is that are we fishing? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just checking. Okay. Good. All right. All well, right. we I I think there is a stand spare that this, that it could go on. But I'm just, you know, oh, saying that it's, the man, it's, there's a little, copy. there's a little setup here. I see what's going on. Okay, all right. You know, I, in my head, this is how I've got things. And then I've gone for, I've got two mics. I've gone for the Rode NTG4. Yeah. Um, that comes in a package with the shock mount, so that's one more thing that I don't have to buy, uh, and an XLR cable. And I've also gone for a sure wired lav mic. So the combination of those two give me something. So if no one can hold my boom pole for me, I can still just use the lab. Yeah, you're good to go. Yeah. You know, and a mixture of those two. I often shoot interviews with a lab and a shotgun, and mix the two. Works quite nicely. 
would you like me to switch to the next page or let's go to the next page yeah All right, let's i don't do think it. there's anything more to say on any of that particularly okay uh audio technica monitor headphones uh, again about the cheapest thing i could find in there mm. and xlr cable one of the sexy stuff first light i've gone for the aperture mc purely for washing background so if we're wanting to put a little pop to it often you use the bowling light for doing that yeah um small spaces just to be really dull corporate offices it's great just to add a little bit of color to the back so one of those and then this was my my bargain 250 dollars three lights kit 150 watt fresnel tungsten video lights with stands and it looks like it has four stands with it are these leds like, or are they wow. no 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 I... no no Oh, these are. And so th so these these are great challenging. because I've also I've also decided that we're doing this in winter, so this is going to keep everyone warm and toasty. So the, <laughs> the big have problem a, with the this best low light camera ever, <laughs> 150 <laughs> watts. That's I don't know, man. I'm a little there's, nervous there's right now. Them. There's three of them. Though. And he's gonna and he's gonna because he got a location pack of gels. He's gonna have to share his. His twelve by twelve uh, uh, CTB in order to get them to daylight. If he wants to daylight them, if there's any of that winter light coming into the room. And if I remember correctly, a six fifty was barely enough to get any kind of key back in the day. If you're diffusing it, barely. <laughs> that, I mean, you correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I seem to remember that being a thing. And you've got so, what? Or uh, that, yeah, yeah, come on. I mean, if we're going to start punching <laughs> holes, let's start punching yeah. holes because that's part of what yeah, Cameron yeah, Flask yeah. is all about. Unless he's just this, doing it for stands and uh, for, first of all, lights. First of all, I'm holding no, 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 it. No, I'm, no, I'm not. I'm, this is it. <laughs> 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 no, oh, this, this really is it. What I figured is doubling and trebling up with these exactly as you have suggested. So not using one as, as a key, but using kind of potentially all of them depending on um yeah but doubling up and then sticking them through and uh, bouncing them or diffusing them i have options for both which we will get to in a, in a minute and we'll see how it works there are definitely limitations with this kit but as a as a general problem with this budget i have got uh, a set of filters because i thought well one i might just use as a hair light and i could just stick that to um stick some ctb on that right <laughs> it's not going to melt it is it <laughs> oh my god no. i, I just I, with all three you're going to be milking every last drop out of that output no I I, like. especially if you put them through the diffuse a two-stop diffuser if you put yeah. <laughs> you're done man you're done we're talking iso 6400 plus you're, you're basically one four you're like a half a foot candle right now this might, you, you might are you shooting a Kubrick movie what's going on here come on all right let's do it uh, so what I was figuring yeah the silver white for the uh to be able to, to still have at least retain a little bit of the very low output that I have with these fixtures <sighs> the diffuser I thought I might look out and find a window <laughs> no and I've got some I've got something to and get five foot candles He's once jelly I can tell to match. this is this is, I I actually haven't looked at what hey. camera you have. I I tried not to look at this too much. I am telling you that if if all the money is not in the camera here, then we've got some problems. So let's see what happens, okay? I'm excited. There's not that much left. Like All right, so let's go. So fast fa fast lens. Fast lens has gone to the next page. Oh, we are ready? Okay, let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Your ah, audio game is strong. Interesting. Your audio game is strong. Audio game is so, strong. Yeah. Minus the you know interviewer holding the boom. Right. But I I still think there's probably a stand left over for that. Mm. We'll we'll see. When one of your bulbs explodes, you can just like stick the pole in the eye of the Fresnel light. <laughs> 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 if you ever had if you ever had one of those, go. Oh in the my goodness gracious! All right, so I see the next page. Okay, so I, I don't know whether you're 
whether people can see the entire page all at once or whether this is just scrolling through. But we're in the yeah, last six, page. Yes. The last page. So the Sigma 1835. That's a fast lens, which I'm going to need because I haven't got any light. Do you own that lens, by the way? I do not. Okay. I own the Sigma but you 35. you have used it passed on before. kits, if I remember correctly. Got really, uh, got really quiet. It, I, it's almost like a <laughs> silence. It really got quiet, and I don't think anybody gives a shit what we're talking about because right now it's ramen and fast food. Everybody's talking <laughs> about, it? yeah. Bart okay. wants Bart wants to do a video on whether or not Ben's kit will work. That's going to be his next video on his channel. Um, there's a lot going I, on here. I, I think that would be a great thing to do. I think so uh, too. Yeah. All right. So that lens. Yes. Maybe. Maybe I have put it in a kit before. Maybe. Mm. I often don't because it doesn't have IS. So I often use the, the Canon, the 1755, which I do own and use because it does have the IS. Anyway, moving on. I definitely haven't got this camera in any kit ever yeah. before. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So a, a terabyte for a very long, dull corporate interview with yeah, nice. uh, talent that... that can't string a sentence together. We've all been there. And then the Blackmagic Design production camera 4K on the EF mount. And then the last thing, yeah, which I, again, there's a slight admission on this one. So the Zoom H4n, because the audio inputs on the Blackmagic are, I can't even remember what they are on this. They're not XLRs anyway. I think they're I, big jack plugs. I have a question for you, Ben. Um, is it possible to hold a boom pole, conduct an interview, and operate an H4N at the same time? That's what I want to know. Do we have enough hands yeah. and think you can do that? I can't do that. And off right camera. I've done that. <laughs> Unbelievable. You and the oil although, although not, all, although not, not at one eight, which is what that lens is going to have to be at. <laughs> You're going to have to have the talent absolutely strapped into that chair and not allowed to move one millimeter forward. But it is forward micro four thirds, so it's it's. We're not talking full frame at one eight. Right, and one of the best it, AF systems in the industry. Is that <laughs> right? No. <laughs> uh, is that Super Thirty Five? Is it not? No, six K is Super Thirty Five. Mm. You're oh, I'm micro sorry. Four thirds. Oh, is your right. lens not micro four no, thirds? No, 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 no. The, like the, the the production camera. This isn't the new one. This is the I'm old sorry, one. You're right. You're right. That's oh, a larger sensor. Oh, okay. That's a larger so, sensor. You're oh, right. So it's even worse Super in the light. Well, or not. it is. Well, it isn't. In better. terms of depth of field. Yeah. Yeah. And how much the is the pole zoom... holder? Wait, how much were you under in terms of dollars? Just so I know. Twelve. Yeah, you could get a boom Sometimes. pole holder for a, like a person I for like spend a... the twelve dollars on gaff tape and just use an entire roll on it, and you're good to go. That's true. Yeah. Cheap, cheap gas, but who cares? You're only going to use it once. Perfect. Exactly. It's going to be stuck all over that stuff forevermore. You yeah. could rig so something the, up. You could stuff. definitely that rig something up. That, right, that would, I gotta, so, like, oh, this, this is, so the lighting is definitely the, the weak spot on this kit. But otherwise, you know, I think using all those fixtures uh, to get something out of them together, you pull something off with that. I think you get more output out of an F7, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. <we're> not, <laughs> all right. So, oh, all right. So, so that's, that's, that's what, are, what are we going to do right now? Uh, are we going, Caleb, you want to go next or me? Or do we want to go to sure. Daniels? What, what are we going to do? What's it going to be? You want to jump in? Let's jump in. Let's go. So this is Caleb's kit. Here we go. Page one. Thirty-seven fifty-three and seventy-seven cents. So you're pretty close. You still got a few dollars for uh, for some gaff tape and and for headphones Bongo that I Tyson. forgot. Oh, interesting. So ben, well already, done. already. Admission is the first mm -hmm. step. Okay, good. Yep. Uh, <laughs> so here we are on page a one. Forty bucks. We're coming in strong with lighting right. right at the beginning. Let's go. Wow, that's amazing already. Yeah. Let's go. All right. Well, let's I thought go. it was yeah. So here's the deal. We got the uh, SL60, which for like a YouTube waist up, you're not going to be at 100%. So I would imagine that's good enough. Yep. Uh, and then I've been really enjoying, I can't go back to like Light Dome Land from Aperture. Um, I've been playing around with a lot of 60-inch softboxes, yep. which I really like because I, 
they're not necessarily the best for lighting, but I really enjoy soft boxes because for stuff like this, you it's like having a, a, a 60 inch. You've pretty much got a four by four um, with a uh, a bunch of, you know, uh, flags. Yeah, because if you have, bring a four by four on set, you got to flag it all off or duvetine or whatever. So 60 inches is great. Uh, through the grid in there because I feel like for interviews that's a great thing to have to be able to control fall off and what's hitting your background. Um, I've got uh, the Yang Nuo. There's two lights there. I've used I've owned these in the past. One's daylight only. One is bicolor, and uh, they're pretty. They're pretty much like F7 lights except larger, slightly larger and cheaper. And almost just, half the cost. About, half the cost. Those are amazingly yeah. cheap. Yeah, they're pretty great lights. Uh, one's by color, one's daylight. Um, yeah, they take MPF batteries, so those will give me, you know, a background light, a kicker, whatever. Just two extra lights. Okay, Are we ready for next page? Um, Strong on in the a lighting. second. If, okay. Uh, I gotta pull it up because there's a delay. I just realized. Yep. No problem. Uh, and uh, okay. I just want to 360 grad is making some suggestions on what I can do with screenshots. My head is just, I can't, that's too much for me to think about. And then I'm going <laughs> to know when you're on the next page, I'm going to ignore some other comments because they're just too cheeky, but that's all I have to say. You can Uh-oh. read them yourself. Okay. Page hmm. two, not about what you're saying, Caleb, let's go for page two. I'm excited. Oh, okay. <laughs> page two. We got batteries for those two smaller lights. Yep. Um, a reflector I haven't used before. Uh, just for fill, negative, whatever I need there. Yep. yep. And then um, a total of five stands. One mm-hmm. larger stand for that uh, key light setup. And then four stands, mm-hmm. uh, smaller stands. One, I've never heard of this brand before, but they're dirt cheap. I would have gone with what you picked, Ben, but I've used those in the past on previous uh, kits. Those impact 20 buck uh, dealers. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait so, a minute. Wait a minute. David's calling you out. Let's go back to page one. He's saying okay. he's calling you out on these little lights because you said they're pretty great. So it sounds like you have some experience with these. Young, you know what? <laughs> young I just realized I when I picked that out, I chose those uh, because I haven't for long in my head pauses. part of this list. I think a lot of hand there. I, I picked some of this stuff <laughs> because I thought I haven't used it in a kit video before, but I forgot about the whole owning it before thing. Psh, psh, psh. <laughs> so, well, I'm not saying I didn't cheat once or twice on mine either. So I'm just giving okay. you crap. But okay. okay, here we go. Alrighty. Okay, but, all right. But Next. we've all done it now. Okay. And by the way, could you I, could I you just could you lend one of those of this, stands I, and boom arm to uh, to Ben for his for his uh, okay. just lend him something I'm for go- his. I'm good for stands. Yeah. All right. Fine. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, yeah, I totally realized I, I did this list off of past, not currently owned and used. Uh, anyway, moving on, now that we got that out of the way. Uh, mm-hmm. Impact, mid-range boom arm. I would imagine this this looks like the, like their stand where they have an all-in-one boom arm stand. This is just the top part. Yep. So that's for the microphone. Microphone is a Rode Video Mic NTG. Good choice. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, which you know is important for the camera I'm using because similar to Ben, uh, it it's better than Ben's camera for audio, but it's not the best. Yep. And finally, let me know when you're on the last page. I'm gonna go there right now, and I'm on the last page. Oh. Okay. Cable mm. to connect the microphone to my camera, which is the EOS R, um, with an SD card, bag, another some other goodies in there. And then for lensing, I got kind of weird, mm. and I used a uh, Velo uh, Nikon F to. Um, it doesn't. It didn't finish the name there. It's a Nikon to RF adapter, and then I'm using the Nikon 28 to 70 f2.8. And then throwing it all on sticks, we got the Magnus REX. Blah blah blah. 4000 Pro. So I, I think I think that your I mean the camera choice clearly is is a big buy. I'm really fascinated by your lens choice and how mm. does that lens perform on? Uh, do you know anything about using that kind of adapter? Obviously, you're not going to be strong in the AF department, 
but you're getting a oh, lot no, of Oh, no, not events. at all. This is no. all autofocus, or all yeah. manual focus. All manual focus. But, I mean, but do, you, do you guys use autofocus for interviews? Rarely. I don't. I do if I'm on my own. I don't care how yeah. good it is. But if it's, it's, if it's just me, then, and it depends on the person. That's really the truth. It You know, if uh, I'm yeah, sitting down in the true. chair then it's it's horrible because glasses the beard and it's just going to have af uh, unless it's one of the really really new cameras you know that has really strong iaf and stuff like that but even even the xt4 has a hard time with it you know it's just not really great at that i think we're like one generation away from that yep. but if somebody sits down like i just did some stuff down in california and you know uh, no beard, you know, good contrast, no glasses, and the AF just locked on instantly, and I could pretty much rely upon it as long as I was monitoring the whole time. So I think it just mm. depends on the situation and what you're doing, for sure. Yeah, so rather not, but definitely do from time to time. That's an amazing kit. I'm now wondering where the hell I managed to spend so much money. When you brought the OSR in you, at the you, end you there, I was kind of... You a lot on um, audio. You did. You I had did. At, good. Least, at least six hundred plus dollars in microphones. Yep. I think. Yep. Totally. All right. So, are we doing yeah. Daniel Murphy or me next? You guys call it, um, and we'll go into the next list. But that is a very interesting. It's so different than Ben's list, which is what I, I love about this so Ben, I almost picked the two point five K because I feel huh. like that's such a great sensor. Yeah. And cheap, real cheap. That is a there great a sensor. That's one of my favorite. There are a couple um, of the use departments. That 2.5K sensor is really one of my favorites from Blackmagic. I haven't spent a lot of time with the 4 and the 6K extensively. Um, the Ursa Mini Pro 4.6K G2 is also really nice image coming off of that. But um, that 2.5 was, it was kind of a magical camera, even though it was, again, in one of those weird form factors. Um, and, and, and your just one question on your R, and that had a package with memory as well. It was very hard, small to see. So you had a card included. Sorry, in what? A card? In the EOS R, you had a. Yeah, it was it a came package, with a wasn't it? Yeah, with a memory yeah, card yeah. and a battery and the whole thing. Yeah, that's it has, amazing. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, yeah, those kits are cheap. I will have to say to everyone of you guys, I can pretty much cheated on this because I realized now that we're not supposed to do anything we've owned. And I do own, like, I've owned that Nikon lens and the R. I don't really use the R. It's kind of my wife's camera. But yeah. But I have never used any of these in this entire list in a kit before. So it's kind of cheating, a, you know. So that's there's that. It's hard. Yeah, With well, all I, the kit that we use. Come on. Yeah. It is. I, I have a Zoom. I don't use it, but I have one. Yeah. So, you know. Right. Okay. Um comment from shiz i just get the zv or z sorry zv dash one and and you're good to go uh, it was actually it was part of my consideration for a camera it's not the camera i went with but i was thinking about it but the one inch chip made me sway uh, i don't think just, anyone should buy that camera pretty much by the way that's a whole <laughs> other story i might do a video uh, but, i'm yeah. excited okay good that'll be up there with uh with a couple of other things that you've done in the past, but I like that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Never. Goodbye, Sony. <laughs> uh, amazing. Here we go. All right. So uh, should we should we end with Daniel or end with me? I, it's up to you guys. I'm going to start to go through this. So which one are we doing? Let's, let's finish up the Amigos here. And okay. We'll end so, on the and glorious. Daniel, yes. Yeah, which I think is a really interesting list. So I really – is Daniel here, though? That's what I need to know because, he, you know, we got the list. I don't see anything in the chat. So wake up. Let's see you here. Uh, have a drink and let's go. And I'm going into my list here. Uh, we've got five glorious pages of product here. So um, you guys ready? Five. Five, five pages. Ready. Yes, five wow. pages. Uh, so I, I really had a lot wow. of – Back Holy what! <laughs> that's that's that's, that's what? a big ticket item for the first. <laughs> and I'm gonna use my iPhone to film the interview. Hell yeah, baby! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! All right, here we go. Uh, Lupo Super Panel Dual Color 30 LED Panel. I I have not used this light, but this light is a 200 watt draw. And just so that you know, 
like an Astra is a, is a 55 watt, right? So this is a powerhouse. These are those one inch LEDs. It's a beast of a light. And I wanted to have something in the kit that gave me a lot of punch. Uh, we've got a, whoever Studio Essentials is, premium light stand. I went with it because it said premium and it was $29.99. We're Stan bros, Stan twinsies. Stan twinsies. And then I wanted to have something that wouldn't have any problems with the SSI, boys and girls. So I got a Lupo 700 smart panel, dual color LED on camera light. And again, uh, this is a little punchy sucker that I can use for uh, stuff. And just so you know, I do not have a quantity of two of those. This price is for quantities of one. You can go and add everything up, Ben, and check it out. Because as you know, the wish list will only only tally a single, single thing. quantities yeah. yes exactly mm -hmm. so um this is probably because of my whole going back and forth and trying to make decisions and then i would move it to a different wish list so you're thinking about coming in this is like your main light weren't you no i wasn't oh, um okay. no but i could you get a, i could it. get three <laughs> 150 <laughs> watt tungsten lights and it would be great uh and then i've so that's my my second light and then i really wanted to make sure that on this list i had mains power for everything that I was running. So that was a big part of the time that I spent on this. So I can run this Lupo 700 through USB type C and this one will power it. So I've got a cable and I've got wall power for that. Then I'm going into um, a light that I've never seen before, but it's a bicolor small light. I'm thinking this is a background light maybe to put a little bit of contrast in the background. Um, I'm it's sure a Bowling it's a Bowling C1 without RGB. Well, it's, you know what? It's 5466, so I'm down with that. And then, again, I needed to power it. So I have USB-C and I have mains power for that particular light because uh, it has a rechargeable battery. Then I go into, I thought this was a pretty good find, a two-stand kit with uh, ball heads and all that fun stuff to hold reflectors if you want them. That was $39.99. I've got an impact multi-boom light stand and reflector holder for what was on sale yesterday as part of the deal zone. This 5-in-1 collapsible circular reflector disc kit, 42-inch. Pretty good surface area. And guess what? I actually have a light, Ben, in this first page that I could actually diffuse and still get exposure with. I'm just saying. I'm just throwing that out there, kid, okay? But that's not all. Um, I also have a silk, a 6x6 silk. So if I want to push that Lupo through a larger uh, modifier, I've got that. Why not have a 2-inch spring clamp? You're going to need it for something, maybe one of those reflectors. Um I wanted to have a monitor. I have no idea what this is, but it was 129 bucks. Um, is it okay? Has anybody ever used this monitor? I just wanted to have something no. for the camera. But I did get a power supply for it for 11.95, so I can also plug it in. Uh, HD25 headphones to monitor audio. I'm going with, and this is my cheat. These are my. This is my cheat zone right here. Uh, headphones, I don't have the lights, but I do have a version of these HD25s. And then I've got a Rode VideoMic NTG. So that is definitely in the cheat zone. I have USB-C <laughs> power for, uh, sorry, I have a TRRS extension cable for that mic, which will get me to wherever I need it to be. And where it needs to be is on this combo boom stand. So I'm going to put the mic on there if I need to boom that. Oh, that's how you, oh, you can only zoom out. Sorry, you guys will see something weird about that. Uh, next page, we have uh, wireless go with the lav. So I do have that option if I want to lav. And then as you can see, here's my camera system. You guys can punch some holes in this, but I decided to go with an M50. It was a pretty ridiculous deal. It's got good AF. It's not a horrible um, camera system. And comes with a card. And then I've got a DC coupler. I've got an AC adapter. I've got a second card for that. I have ND. And then when we get to the last page, 
Um, it, by the way, that comes with a 15 to 45 millimeter lens, which is kind of slow as balls. It's like a 3.5 to 5.6. I've owned but... it. It is the worst. <laughs> right. I was about to say, you better have another lens because I'm going to roast you hard on that. You, you, you'd be better off putting a mason jar in front of your camera. <laughs> do, you know, do, you, do you know how much extra the, the lens costs an extra $20 to have the lens? So it was a 479 versus 499. So I figured. Why not have that? It's a it's a glorified uh, body cap, basically. But I can do something <laughs> with yep. it. Yep. I can lens I can lens whack with that thing. And then uh, and then this is my lens of choice. It's a fast uh, thirty. I think that's good on an APS-C, and it gives me some options. I have ND a variable ND for both of the lenses. Uh, this tripod. And I've got a white balance card set and also, of course, a 24-pack of matte black C47s. And there's my kit. All right. Well. Thoughts? I was well, disappointed. I'm... The the lens is great. That 30 mil and the 16 mil from Sigma, awesome. But mm. <laughs> you've got a trash camera. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I have, but I have all that. Canon video. No log. Yeah, but I got lights and I can get exposure and it's still got good color. And I got AF. I'm a one man band. I think I think I can get some good stuff out of there. So here here are the other two cameras that were in contention. Well actually there was really there were. There were two other cameras. I'm fired. Hell no, I'm not fired, small brown <laughs> fox. Uh, the 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 camera that I was gonna be sort of the base, which is very un me, was gonna be the A sixty four hundred. And then I was mm. trying to build off of that and by the time I started to bring in lenses and things like that, it just wasn't going to work if I wanted to have the lighting and light modifiers. Uh, I was also looking at an X-T30, which is not a camera that I own, even though I've had a lot of Fujifilm cameras. But that whole 10 and 15 minute record time just yeah. threw it out the window. Because I love, I mean, 18 to 55 is one of the best kit lenses in the market. Um, so I kind of, you know... Thirty-seven ninety-nine. I sacrificed on the camera, but it's a known quantity to me, and I know I can get. And by the way, the data rate in four K is a higher data rate than the Sony. It's like one hundred and sixty, I think, megabits per second. So I'll just shoot neutral, and I'll get the job done, kid. That's what I'm going to say. More data, more data, doesn't no. make a soft image sharper. <laughs> oh, no, shut up! <laughs> I'm going. To, I'm going. I'm going Look to the, the soft lack look. of banding in that whatever that is that I'm looking at. <laughs> hey, hey, Mr. Sony, I'm going for the soft look, but at least it's a properly exposed soft look. But I'm not waiting yeah. for window light and, to and come through. And there's not like for my magical like a diffuser band around someone's face, like Sony cameras. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. You know, good. I, I am slightly disappointed that I can't find any holes in stuff you've forgotten this time. You actually oh, have I did, headphones, I, yeah, memory, and, good. and power. And I would stuff. say it's it's, no, it's no, a little something unbalanced. This is that light, what, what? that key light. I feel like there's got to be better options. I mean, if you're putting that much effort into your color quality of light, and then you're capturing it with an m50 i think yeah. you could kind of just do you this suck. a little bit well you know can i just talk to you for but a second so that's here, 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 here were here were a couple of one i was looking at the intellitech which is the four panel led the bicolor right mm -hmm. and that is 7.99 that would have given me some more change and it comes with a soft box and the grid and i thought you know that's pretty interesting uh but then i kind of decided against that and then i can't put an astra 6x in there because i've used that light a thousand times so I kind of felt like I would go the punchy way. Hey, you got to do what you got to do, kids. And let's go on to Daniel. Now, I, I'm, I'm surprised that you give me so much crap about the M50, but I'll go with the flow on it. Okay, so it's okay. Mr. <clears throat> Fancy Pants. Here we go. Daniel Murphy coming in. First hole, and I gave him crap about this when he emailed me this. It's $37.99 and 26 cents so do we give him a pass we could it's Ooh. in he's rounding down Ooh. is it we round down then he's fine but he's just over do, you, do you know what though that, that, that looks I, great I remember, though that looks yeah. great on on paper it does i, I remember I, I yeah okay yeah okay the, we the, the, there was very strict criteria in your two's giveaway offers for for what's going to happen 
if that camera comes in under. Oh, we'll need. We'll, ne we'll, we'll never see Joe's. Is it, whoever mentioned this thirty seven ninety nine? I don't think they're coming back ever to this channel. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I, they're I, here I, now. I, I, I bet. Right. I bet you as soon as that <laughs> camera's released so for much. less than three seven nine nine, he's going to be back on this channel. I yeah, will yeah. tell you that for nothing. Well, <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> both, both, both Caleb and I would be absolutely <laughs> thrilled if the R five came in at thirty seven ninety nine. Yeah. So we would be very willing to honor. Um, you know, our promise yes. when it comes to that. But it won't. I was very but confident it's, it's going to be expensive for me to <laughs> follow through with Mike. I my mean, you're bet. you're you're but already ahead, uh, Caleb, because if it comes I know, in... I know. Yeah, I, yeah, I even mean... If it's, it, even if it's under four grand with a several hundred dollar gift card to him, it's still like, I'm still over the moon. Yeah, exactly, she's, because she's, we're, we're willing... No, we just know <laughs> it's going to be... We know it's going to be five to six... So we're so ahead of the game, even if you know we're we're dropping a yeah. couple of bills. So it's okay. Um, mm. All right, we're gonna move over to Daniel here. So what do we have here? We have a Magnus Rex uh, VT five thousand. I, I don't know about the four thousand and the three thousand, but they're already up to five thousand here, and not unlike some of the stuff that we have. So it's a base, decent tripod system. It's not gonna win any awards. Tripod uh, winsies. Twinsies. It's not a bad tripod. I don't no. own it or have yeah. tried it, but yeah. Okay, so we've got a two battery, relatively low uh, 2200 milliamp batteries in the charger kit. And then we've got another dual LCD charger with LPE 6s. Ooh, so this could be a little gateway into mm -hmm. some of the things that are going to be happening. So we've got NPF and we've got LPE 6 batteries. Um, on the lighting front, we have a, a $900 uh, three-light deluxe kit, the Genere Torpedo bicolor LEDs. I'm assuming we're going to get a little bit more output than Ben's kit. I might be wrong about that. But it's also more than three times the price. And uh, a flexibility. We've got a small rig swivel tilt monitor mount. We've all seen that many times. We then move over here to our next page, and we've got... So Daniel's definitely thinking about the whole picture here, for sure. Right, guys? Um, triple tap Sandbags. extension cord. Sandbag. Uh, wow. we've microphone stand. Telescoping arm. Those are always a little tricky in terms of reach, but they could work. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a blimp. A blimp up. Yeah, first person with a blimp. Uh, wow. XLR, Audio Technica AT875R, short shotgun. Anybody have an experience with that, Mike? Anybody? No. I've heard Spicoli. a lot of people love it. Bueller, Spicoli. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and then we move over here to, ah, I have this in my kit somewhere. The Tascam DR60D MK2. It's uh, mm -hmm. kind oh, of the... Oh, man, that... The order. other, the other H four N. Though mm -hmm. I don't know. The better H four N. Yeah, yeah, it's a good little box. And then tether tools. We've got USB Type A to five pin mini US. What well, is that? Mm -hmm. Is that a USB? Okay. Yeah, USB C. He's, wow, that's it really a is. Test cam. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, whoa, two ninety nine from Kyle on the super chat. Wait till it comes up, and then I'll add it using the e can. Oh, I have lots of things that I missed here. What is going on here? And let's add that. Boom. Super chat. Kyle, love love that you're here. And uh, there it is. Awesome donation. Thank you very much. Um, we've got some power. We've got some Tascam TH07s. Anybody ever use these headphones? I'm more of a Sennheiser. Uh, you and, covered them uh, with Sony. Kyle's lovely donation. Oh, but I've got them back. They're coming back. Oh, okay. Tascam TH07. I'm delayed here. Anybody use those? I have not. Okay, we've got a very ND from Tiffin, spending a little bit of money, sort of middle of the road, and then this is the window to the world here. We've got a mm. 14 to what? 140. Oh, F, I know where this is going. F 3.5 to 5.6. the puzzle. 5.97.99. I'm not a huge fan of variable aperture lenses, but this is a good range. Um, does anybody know where the drop off here is when it starts to go to like a four and, and stuff like that? Is it pretty quick or are you hanging in the three, five to four range for a while and then dropping off near the end? 
Caleb? Anybody? Uh, I haven't used that lens myself, but my other Panasonic variables are, they go pretty quick. They're about standard, but I mean, by the time you get to 35, 50, you're pretty far down there, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Shall we see what's happening? Here we go, kids. And page four is coming up. And tension. No, I'm just kidding. And there. Oh, snap. Look at this. Very interesting. Did you think this was going to be where we were going, uh, Caleb Pike? Is it coming up waiting yet? for it to load. Waiting. Oh, okay. yeah. oh, dip. Interesting. I was wrong. I was thinking pocket 4K because I'm like, oh, that's what I was thinking. Batteries yeah, exactly. Like for thirds mount. But now, I, 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 now I have a question. Camp, so. so we've got a Zcam E2C. The question I have for everybody, uh, and a monitor, and we've got an HDMI cable, and we've got, you know, cold shoe adapters, and we've got plenty of card space. Is this camera... Oh, that's the batteries on the first page. Yeah. Batteries yeah. are on page one. Oh, and he's adding comments. Ha! Why not? Uh, why not? Ha! Almost forgot the monitor. Okay. So he's got a monitor... Um, is there a ball mount to attach it to the camera? Yes, I'm just... yes. He had a small rig one on page one. Yeah, oh, that's rig. right. That's Pricks right. Down. Interesting. Interesting. Mm. Okay. So that's a very, very different kit indeed, I would say. And, so uh, he's, yeah. He's you want me got to go back? 4K. Go up one page. I can't quite see it. It's only one lens, right? Yes. Yeah, so we're we're yeah. one lens, and it's a pretty slow lens. I would say that to yeah. me, that's that the weakest link to me. Totally. Yeah, yeah. It's if you're well outside, thought. great. But um, outside, lots of depth, you're good. But that's that's a rough, rough go. Otherwise, he's pretty solid on everything else. And he's yeah. thought of things like power for his Taz cam. What's the Canon LPE six for? Is that what Z Cam takes of or I think something so. else? I thought, the, I, I thought that the Z cam takes, uh, oh, maybe it's a monitor. I yeah, thought it was MPF for the Z cam, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, MPF for the Z cam, and it, the monitor's the LP6. Okay, oh, so, okay, got it, got it, got it. Sorry about that little, uh, I'm learning about the zoom feature. So let me ask you a question, Caleb, because you're very familiar with Micro Four Thirds. So he's got a $700 budget for lens, a lens. Could he spend that seven hundred dollars and get a couple of primes, or go a different route and have something that was a little more flexible? Any thoughts on that? If yeah, if if, if I had seven hundred bucks for that camera and lenses, um, you could get a couple Nikon primes, uh, fast primes, um, or one really great lens like a Zeiss ZF lens yeah. or something. Yeah. Uh, or you could get like a Viltrox speed booster. Those are around mm -hmm. 200 bucks, I think. Actually, what I would do is that some Nikon primes, like you can get a 50 mil for like Dirty. under 200 bucks. For sure. Mm -hmm. And then uh, and then the, the the Viltrox Nikon speed booster, you can get on eBay. It's not B&H, but for like 80 bucks. It's absurd. So, so now you're getting it, into Super it... 35 territory with a 50 mil. But if, yeah, and then and have a lot of several hundred dollars left. And I'd still, and then what I'd do is try to find like a an inexpensive, uh, like twenty eight, would be would be a nice yeah. combination. Twenty eight so, fifty the speed booster, because you're not say. doing autofocus on that lens. No, because on Nikon the twenty eight, there's a lot of twenty eights out. There. Oh, I'm saying like on that camera Z cam, you're yeah, not yeah. gonna be doing <laughs> anything. No, that's Exciting what I mean, but I'm saying, I... no, but that's what I'm saying. I'm saying when you're looking at the market, there's going to be a lot of Nikon, Nikon uh, 50s out there, and there's going to be a lot of 28s. There's a lot of yeah. 28s on the market. So if you get a 28 and a 50 with that speed booster, I think that's um, that's probably a stronger showing across the boards. And just get rid of that 14 to 140 because that's a garbage lens, let's be honest. Whoa, well, another the range super is insane. But yeah, but I mean, hey, hey, so we got the batteries going. Right. Okay, the batteries there you go, the Kyle. Thank you very much. Is. Appreciate you. He would, he could go oh. Rokinon, which is a good point too. Uh, can you get two Rokinon lenses for six, uh, seven hundred bucks? You could, couldn't you? Mm, yeah, right on the Michael, edge. Uh, yeah, used department. Depending maybe. on which which ones you have for sure. Mm. Yeah. 
Beautiful. But no, that's that. that's a great kit, man. Thank Very you for well submitting done. it. And for right, everyone ready. else who didn't submit, shame on you. Yeah, shame, shame on you. Shame Next on you. Next time, you've got another chance at some point. Good. Well, you gentlemen are awesome. I love our weekly uh, shindig. Uh, we've got Ben hosting next week. Ben, what mm -hmm. would be a good topic for next week as we turn to 4 o'clock Pacific, uh, 6 p.m. Central, and God knows what time in Middle Earth over there? What, what would be a good topic for this? Middle Europe, sorry, not Middle Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there is the age-old question that we struggle to answer every 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 week. Any anybody in the chat got any ideas? Anything that you would like us to go over next week? Hit us up. Anything? Okay. Anything at all? I would. Uh, here's an interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Do it. I'm off ready. the top of my head, it'd be kind of fun to do <clears> something like uh, we've been seeing these different kits, and we all put weight in different areas. Mm. Um. If you maybe we can figure out a way to do like you've got 20 bucks to spend and uh, like a pie chart of where we allocate gear. Mm. Unless that doesn't make sense because it depends on the, the challenge, right? So explain that. Yeah, that though, right. Like 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 um, there's each category you're allowed to put money into and you've got twenty dollars to spend. Basically, like a, you mean like a. Just a, a division of your total percentage, budget. In, 100%. Yes, you, what you basically have a pie chart saying, yeah. this is how much I assign. Lighting, audio, audio to, camera. Light camera. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I think it's going to be a pretty quick conversation, to be honest, at least yeah. between the three yeah. of us. I mean, I think it's a good conversation, but I think it's going to be quick. What fast food chain is the best? Fire away. That's crazy. Um, and <laughs> that's one of the suggestions. Um, I, I, what, I, you know, one of the things I'd also love to do is I, whoa, what's happening here? Coming in at the end. <laughs> 14 it's, Aussies. Oh, come on. There or we AUD. go. Australian it's dollars. Cool. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Australian I think, dollars. I think, I think that's actually a joke. I think that's actually a joke. Yeah, I think it's a joke, but it's really funny. Thank you, Gwiz. <laughs> 5150. That's, I love that. It's amazing. Um, I, you know, I also feel like we need to be a little more interactive with the chat. So it would be a mm. it would be a great one where the three of us are there and they just fire away. It could you know bruise my ego, but there could be an at you know Ben and at Caleb and at Jem and just ask questions and then just start conversations about specific topics. Yeah. So this is yeah, like this is open floor. Why not? So uh, open Ben is not. yeah Ben is hosting and then basically. You know, people just start firing away from the beginning and we start picking stuff off and it takes us down whatever place it takes us. Um, I like Rob's idea, too, but I think uh, five guys for sure. The Grumpy Penguin says that's mm -hmm. questionable. Um, I don't know if I would go there, but, you know, if you want some peanuts on the floor, you're looking for quantity, for man, it. that's yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Big old greasy bag of fries, yeah. like grocery bag of fries. Americana at yeah, its it. best. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Um, I have another pleasure. Okay. Well, let's let's do that then. If you can remind me, if possible, Ben, about this topic, so we can get it up before the weekend. But for you in the chat, it's really about getting your questions uh, ready and not just sort of last minute. Kind of think about what kinds of things you'd like to ask us, knowing what each of our areas of uh, focus are in terms of production. And let's try to spread the love. Ben's job will be to do that, where he basically mm -hmm. says, okay, this one's for Ben, this one's for Caleb, this one's for Jem. And let's just start a conversation. I'm happy to talk about streaming tips if that's what you want me to do, KBH. But uh, we'll just see what people come up with next week. And we'll do an hour and we'll hang out. And I've got to let people go to sleep, go back to their families, and love everybody. And thank you for being part of this every single week. Uh, parting words, Ben Barden. Um, this was good. It was good fun. I don't feel like I got a particularly great, great list this week. Well, you like had I, the magic. I should have tried harder. 
There was one time where you just slayed us like there's no not, nobody it's will legendary. ever get a list. It was legendary. it was it was legend. Like we nobody can ever get that list. I mean, it, I did a good one once, but yours was so far beyond that you can sit on that for probably three years, and you you could do shitty lists for three years. It wouldn't be a big deal. And well, I cheated that's, that's, a that's lot. Very, that's a, it's very kind of you to have brought that back up again this week. <laughs> Caleb, any party yeah, words? Good fun. What, Caleb? Uh, you know what? God bless America. You know, we we had our Memorial Day to the rest of the world. I hope you have a good uh, COVID list uh, hmm. or COVID coping rest of your week. Yep. And uh, lovely faces here in the chat. All the beautiful people donating just just blesses our hearts. We love it you. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, see we you next do. week. We'll see you next week. Absolutely. And all the best, everybody. I'm going to finish this one. It's two clicks in Ecamm Live, and we'll see you next Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific. See you later.